Here with uh, Barnaby Hitzig and Daniel Gent from the Los Angeles based band Gin. Uh, fellas, it's great to have you here today. Now, you're all from different parts of the country. Uh, you got together out here in Los Angeles. Uh, where are you from originally? Yeah, I'm, I was born in New York, but I actually moved out to Los Angeles when I was really young, and everybody's from South Carolina in our band. And I was lucky enough to meet these guys right after their former bass player had moved back and, and quit the band. Now, do you two collaborate on all of your uh, songwriting compositions? We definitely collaborate. I think um, as a band, we actually do something that I've heard a lot of bands say that they hate to do, and that's to go into a rehearsal studio three days a week, play two to three hours a night, and you know we basically just free jam. We have fun, and the riffs that are really good, we all you know we kind of like have a look where we're like. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm feeling that. I thought you were going to say get a job in terms of things that, <laughs> that guys in bands hate to do. Um, have you ever had vocal lessons? Because you really, really put yourself out there when it comes to singing. No, I've, I've never had a, a vocal lesson. I just, uh, I grew up singing all my records real loud, so. What's your throat like the day after a show? It's ready to go for the next one. It's probably not somebody you want to get into an argument with. <laughs> no, although Daniel is a very calm and collect person. I will back him up in saying that I've never seen his voice go out, knock on wood, but uh, it, it's incredible. I just think it's you know God-given talent because his range is just incredible. And for me, when I was looking for a band, the only thing I wanted to focus on was, is there a good singer in the band? Because we've played with so many, you know, great bands musically, but they'll have a singer that can just uh, not that great not good stage presence and it really takes away from how good they are musically and, and I think you I mean I'm the first one to admit it I'm the bass player you need a good vocalist in a band in order to be successful and honestly when I met Daniel I said I'm willing to stick with you because his talent is off the off the charts as they say let's talk about influences uh, Daniel who did you listen to uh, growing up I listened to a lot of Deftones a lot of Tool and a whole lot of Pink Floyd for my favorite band actually awesome and uh, Barnaby uh, I loved MC Hammer. I thought MC Hammer was awesome. I find that yeah. uh, doubtful. <laughs> uh, no, you know, I think Tool, that's actually one of the, the biggest influences for us. Uh, I love Radiohead. I've been listening to a lot of Radiohead lately. And if I could actually list two more, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, I've really been into a lot. I like their new album. And Led Zeppelin, of course. Led Zeppelin, what's your favorite Zepp song? I gotta say Moby Dick, just for the sheer fact that that drum solo uh, and the song remains the same video was, I mean, it, it just was one of those things that motivated me to want to become a musician. I used to play drums, I used to play guitar before I started playing bass. You and a lot of people. Um, who uh, do a lot of your fans say that you remind them of? Does, do any other bands like come to mind? Definitely. We get Nine Inch Nails a lot. Uh, we do get Tool, Deftones, and I think somebody said we sound like Alter Bridge the other day, right? <laughs> Now what's this uh, relationship you have with uh, Lincoln Park? Well, we recently did a contest that they had put together. Uh, it was called the LA Battle Project. And we made it to the finals. It was broadcast on Time Warner Cable and on pay-per-view as well. How many bands did you beat out in this contest? Uh, we heard uh, different rumors, anywhere from 350 to about 500, 600 bands entered. So the finals came down to five bands competing at the Roxy. It was sold out. Uh, in front of a judge of panels. What was the criteria? Basically to, to play your two best songs and to wow the crowd. And basically we were competing to win an opening slot um, at the Project Revolution tour, which uh, if you've ever been to the Project Revolution, it's 10,000 people a night. So we unfortunately didn't win it, but we came really close and we really bonded with Lincoln Park that night. Um, it, was, it was Brad and it was Mike Shinona. Um, from Lincoln Park and you know we talked to Shinona for a long time and he was just really encouraging and you know just told us that that we were right there um, in terms of writing music and becoming an established band. How do you feel about bands that kind of you know made their bones like in a time when like you had record label support as opposed to now? Um, what's your opinion on you know that dynamic? Well we're really thankful for this interview and we were really thankful for the LA Battle Project because for me and you know we've talked about it, it's like the whole model to try and become a successful band, a successful band is it's changed. I mean CD sales crashed, there's no more CD sales, record companies were fleeing trying to figure out how to make money. So for a band nowadays you really have to rethink the model and you know for us to be able to do a contest like the LA Battle Project 
and you know be able and be interviewed on your on your television show it's like it's a huge plus for us because this is great exposure um, that that bands you know they have to get this in order to, to move forward nowadays well it's great to have you so you guys are currently on a label correct correct we are on planet la records and what has this experience uh, been like for you it's been a great experience we're with a label right now that is very artist driven and they've been very hands-on with us and you know I know a lot of people are down on labels currently uh, that they take advantage of musicians and you know to be honest I'm, I'm sure that stuff may happen but for us our experience has been really positive um, we have a really hard-working label that is willing to believe in us and work hard for us and really you know give us artistic freedom which you know is what this show is all about you know we're, we're all just foaming at the mouth um, wanting to do this every day uh, so I really picture us being a success. Well, I really hope you get there, and I hope uh, you know any exposure you manage to get from being on our show um, takes you one step closer. Uh, great guys, uh, Barnaby, Daniel, wish you the best of luck, and uh, look forward to seeing you every time I'm here in L.A. Definitely. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. Awesome.